Hello, and welcome to the next episode on Cornerstone Season 2. I am super excited today because we are going to work on, hopefully, our actual base. Let me show you where we're living right now. So, basically, that one is where we're living. It's a little bit small. Oh, still love how that came out. That's the bone mill farm, for those of you who didn't see the last episode. Yeah, the house is going to go here. I am finally going to get it done. So we need to extend this out over that one. I'll show you that there for a second. But what I did is I this was just all spruce here. So it kind of puts an idea of like it's being broken up and kind of degrading. Let's look at it from over here. There you go. That gives you better. So put in some oak signs, some spruce signs, and just some spruce behind it. I like how that came out. It actually broke it up because it was just a blob. So the other thing that's new to you is probably this area here. It was just a wall of dirt and stone before, just straight up and down. So I kind of cut that back and popped up like it's rocks a little bit. Way better than it was before. It looks way better. Yeah, so let's go down here. So I'm going to have to extend this out a little bit. I'm going to guess that we'll have to support it. Yeah, I think that's why I lined this one up here. So this one will have to extend up and will support down. So I kind of want that house hanging over it, just kind of like it's precarious on this, on this cliff side. That'll be fun. But let's show you my inspiration. All right, for those of you who are new, this is a game called New World, and I'm duplicating this entire thing. So the two buildings that we got is this one right above my head and this one above my head, and then the ramp that's right there goes behind this, and this right there is the house that we're going to do. Yeah, it's a large one. It's going to be cool. So yeah, I got to remember to round off this edge a little bit, but basically I built right up to this point. Oh, actually, I kind of see now. So I made this thick, so I actually need to thin it up too. And then this is the support that I actually need to build. But look how large that house is. Let's actually go over there. Oh, before we leave, I want to get to that one of these days. That'll actually look really cool on top of our cliff. And our portal is kind of right in that area. I'll show you that too. So here's kind of a front view of the house. I, I like the shape. So we got this uh, little front one pop out here with a little bit of roof. And then the second one with a larger roof. So here's the other building that I want to get to that's even nicer shape, but I have to get all of this laid out first before I kind of know where to place that. And then the boat. Oh, yes, we'll get to the boat. So you know what? Let's just walk around here real quick with you guys with me so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Yeah, look at that. So I don't know if I'm going to do this boat in the front. I will attempt it, but... I don't know how well that's going to come out. So the one thing I see here is it actually is a two stories. There's a second story right above my head. But for the most part, a lot of it is single story. But let's get a little bit closer. Oh, another thing to note. What is this pillar here right above my head? I may eliminate that one too. Lots of duck sounds behind you. So yeah, the ramp that I stopped is probably right about there. So we need to bring that up and around. But this, I'm going to have fun with this house. Trying to duplicate this is actually going to be really fun. Let's get a little close look at the front here. So it pops out a little bit, pops out a little bit there. Overhangs a little bit. And then you got this cool kind of walkway up the side. And then this ramp is kind of where we were looking at a second ago and then up to the portal where I've go up went to my put over there we'll look at that here in a second also so let's go inside and see how this looks so I like that has just a walkway up top and that's what's considered the second story and then you come down here a nice big fireplace and then a bar I will probably just move myself into this place since I think it's going to be a lot of room. Yeah. Can I actually jump over? I thought I could jump over. Did they... Ch there we go. I think they've changed stuff. I haven't played this game in a little while, so... Yeah, okay. So the ramp that we already have is this one here, and I was kind of showing you how I broke it up there. So beam goes out. Oh. 
So instead of going straight across to the beam that I have kind of right there, I'm going to go to this beam so that we can round it off. Okay, that makes way more sense. Okay, cool. So there's my inspiration. Let's get building it. Ooh, this one was hard to stuff in, but I think I got the general layout. So this will be okay. The boat will be in this area. This edge right here lines up perfectly with that dock, so we'll have plenty of room. What? Yeah, keep trying, dude. You need to be a better shot. Distractions aside, at least I got a trident out of that one. Band a drowned head. Nice. Anyways, like I was saying, let's go up here and take a look. So let's start from here, just to give you a side profile. I think this is going to work out good. So there'll be a second story here, it'll be overhung. I wanted to make this three wide, so three wide for. Actually, it looks like it is four. But, anyways, it's going to be two. And then right about, I don't know, here, it's going to go up onto a ramp. I wanted to make that three, but I'm running out of space. So anyways, it goes three, four, and then five for the fire pace, and four, then three, and then I forget what I made this last one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyways, so that one, I think, is five, just to give it more room so you have a window. Okay, so overhang there, second story will start there, overhang there, second story will start there. I think this is going to be good. I didn't want it overhanging so much, but I think it's going to be good. I think this will work out. And then quite frankly, the other direction, we can go as long as we want this way. I, well, we got tons of room is what it comes down to. Yeah. So eventually there'll be a walkway down to here and how, where, wherever we end up ending this, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So let me try to at least form out the sides and let's see where we end up. All right, I'm super excited to reveal the layout. I'm not done with this yet, but this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, underneath, I still gotta get like some planks. So it's no, you're not gonna see any of the stone from underneath here. Let's just kind of go up here and get a feel. So I continued this stairway up here. Still need to get all this texturized and stuff. Yeah, so it comes up here and then kind of double back on itself. There! So I've never done the bricks on the roof. I've used them for siding, but I wanted to do this. And then one special item. Yep. Dripstone. <laughs> so we're using the polished dire, uh, the granite and regular granite. And then, of course, the stairs. And this is kind of a cool shape. So it goes slab. You can call that slab. Slab. Stair, stair. And then solid block, stair, solid block. Yeah. It gives it a really interesting shape. So this is actually 13 wide. And I was actually thinking that the roof line was going to be really tall. But since we did a couple slabs in there and a couple stairs and then started kind of creep going up, but I like that it has kind of this... Is it logarithmic curve to it? Maths. It's been a while. But anyways, I love that. And in the inspiration, it just did it slightly. So it started kind of flat on the outside and then jetted up really, really quick. I think this is a good compromise. I like this roof and it's actually, it's not that tall compared to, you know, the siding, which I went with a five. Like over here, right there, it's one, two, three, four. So there's basically the windows are too high. I'm trying to stick with over here, one, two, three tall. So that kind of works out. So I still don't know what to do for windows. I don't know if I'm going to go with, you can't really see it, but glass, or sometimes I put stairs in between it. Yeah, this took a little while. I was trying to get some siding. I didn't want to go with white because we've done white down there and another house over here. Right, right, right. You can't see it, but there it's diorite and 
calcite and other stuff, much mushroom stem block. Yeah, so this is cool. And then we'll be able to hang like a sign over here. And that's kind of cool. So let's go, let's actually go back here. So you've seen this before it goes down, but then it also leads up to side here to kind of like a back door. And then I also added some railing to this because it, I don't know, it's hard to, the idea was that it was just a plank of wood, but it looks better with some railing. So I think that works out good. And Brandy, if you're watching, it's Brandy safe now. I mean, don't walk off the side. <laughs> Oh, it's an on-running joke. Anyways, um, just some windows back here. I really wanted to try some polished basalt here, but I just could not get it to work with the brick roof and any siding. Fireplace is going to be back here. Uh, I'm going to stick with stripped. So all of this is going to be stripped here. What if we hang here and then if we walk around, then there'll be another one with some doors. I don't know if I'm going to go double doors here. I had double doors in this one. But then the windows ended up being wonky because I always run even, but having two doors in and messes up at least one side. So I stuck with this and then I thought about doing like this, but it just... Come on, come on, close for me. Yes, no, maybe, I just don't know. It just looks weird to me. So anyways, we'll back off on that and we'll figure that out. But at least now I have a basis for what we're gonna build. And if we were just walk into this interior, look how much room we have just on this story. There's also gonna be another story starting from this pillar going to that pillar. So that'll be two stories inside. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Another thing I got to think of is what to do for the flooring. So I'll probably, you know, I'll leave the idea of a foundation. We'll mix that up, of course. We'll put some other blocks in there. Yeah, but I don't know what to do for the floor. But you know what? That's okay. At least I can get this thing established. I am super happy how it came out. Yeah. All right, well, I think I'm going to go into a stream. So the next time you see this, the outside might be done. We have a lot of stuff to do interior top wise. I am definitely going to detail this interior out. And the other funny thing is, is I think I'm going to put a stairway maybe in this corner going down and we can have our storage system underneath. I am going to flare this one out. So it looks like it's supporting more of the house because right now there is a lot of house overhanging and only is it like two pillars you know one two pillars and maybe three supporting well let's just call it two at this point supporting the bulk of this yeah so i think i'm gonna take this hill and go this way with it and connect it to somewhere there this still will be be a little bit of overhang but i want it to make it look like it's not just a lot of this wood hooding holding this whole thing up <laughs> This is episode eight. There's something down here that I've been meaning to do since day one. Literally, I found this on day one. I came down here, made this mine. And I just keep leaving what's down here and I completely forgot about it. Yeah, it's this big old pile of diamonds down here. Now, mind you, there's actually 13 blocks here. There's actually 12 right now. I had to steal one from over here, but Look at this thing. I have never seen a big blob like this. Part of me doesn't want to take it down. The other part of me wants to take it down. You know what? I am just going to leave it. I don't need the diamonds. You know what? Forget it. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going to do it. Oh, man. I am loving how this house is coming out. Got the bare bones right now, and I'm doing this totally in reverse. I did the roof first just so I could get an idea of like where everything's going to end up. Ooh, I love the shape. Let's go take a closer look at it real quick from starting down here. So like I said, I still need to kind of texturize this area, but we can kind of get the general idea when we actually come up here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think I like it. 
Actually, let's get a look from like, here. There we go. That's a good look. Can we land? Thank you. Yeah. Roof line on these look great. Actually, let's just fly way up here. Take a look at it. So there's enough texture in the roof that this isn't overly big. I debated on putting like a little window here. They'd just be skylights. Like this one has that. You've got a little bit of a... Uh, well, it only kind of goes down to the bottom. This one at least goes up higher. But yeah, maybe some like skylight windows here. Just little pop outs just to break it up a little bit. But I am not overly worried about that. Oh, um, these. So I'm going to hang uh, banners off of these. You can kind of see I get the grindstone in this one. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll hang banners off of that somehow, some way. But yeah, I love how this is coming out so we need to put beams in here this is all going to be exposed i need to maybe somehow cover those up maybe we run the beams on this level but either way that's a future me problem let's take a look at the flooring that i'm trying to get an idea i've gone through a ton of different ideas here um, like mushroom stem blocks on the outside. Oh, there's dirt here because this is where the wall is going to be. I just wanted to leave a placeholder. Yeah, I tried like surrounding it with mushroom blocks and doing bone blocks either direction. We've got that over in the, the shopping district. But I kind of wanted to tie in the roof a little bit. So I thought, why not the polished granite and the polished diorite? And that's bright enough, but muted enough. I... I think this is going to work out. We'll see. I still don't know what the interior is going to be like, but let me complete the outside and figure out this fireplace. All right. I decided no more updates. I'm just going to get this house done. Are you guys ready for it? Blam. Oh, I am super happy how this came out. Such a vibe. Absolutely amazing. So let's start from underneath here. I decided to hang chains. So we kind of already had the idea of the glow berries. And then also rooted dirt. Just a little bit. It's a little bit too bright for this area, so I didn't put too many. But yeah. Oh, I love how this is looking out. And we fell. But let's get back up here. Oh, which side do I want to reveal? Which side? Oh, let's go this way. I love how this came out. Yeah, so let's look at the back here real quick. Got just some dotted barrels and stuff around just to give it a little bit of a vibe. And then I love... Yeah, I'm just going to go all the way here. So this is the portal. So this is what people would actually see. I want you to be my llama mama. Hey, we need to go get some llamas. That's Nella's. All right, so here. So if you come out of this one, this is what you see. And then if you come out of this one, you got a little bit hidden, but you can still kind of see it. Oh, it looks good. So I didn't know... Oh, man, this chimney is just bothering the crap out of me for some reason. We look at this one. I used more brick in it, but I wanted more cobble in this, but it's just too, well, cobbly. I don't know. We can work on that some other time. Let's go maybe down and around here and we'll reveal the front of it. Oh, and I decided to go with note blocks with stuff on top of it. I like that. It kind of looks like a lattice or a planter pot. Yeah. And I love these banners. Not my design, but... Love them. Okay, so let's come down here. We'll place ourselves on top of the barrels. And blam. There it is. So I want to thank uh, H67 for helping me. It was the design for the, the windows, and he helped me shape the awning. I had an awning here, but it was just a ugly blob. But yeah, thank him for that. Oh, I love how this looks. We come up here got the second story there front entrance here kind of a side entrance on this side 
trailed up some of the bushes there. Now I'm going to do the interior some other time. This is going to get all decked out. But the idea is, is that I'm going to move over here. Oh, yeah. Got to do a fireplace. We'll deck that out too. So I'm going to move over here and my storage is going to be here. So we'll dig this out and give myself a ton of room to work with. Yeah. And then this is going to be kind of like a, a bar scene. So this would be the bar and we'll scatter some tables and stuff. And we'll get this place completely decked out. Let me show you this up here. So I need to do more of this trussing in this area, but we'll do that when we get to the interior on this. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So let's go into a uh, free cam real quick and show you what that looks like. So let me park myself over here. And yeah, I, I've, I've said that I've gone into a camera count before, but it's free cam. It's cheaty cheaty, but in order to show you guys, it it's so much easier to do this and try to you know get a perspective from the elytra. So I try not to use and abuse it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love this building. It's probably the largest building that I've ever done. I mean, I've done large like builds, but I don't know. I'm I'm new to building, and this is probably the most detailed out one that I've ever done. Love, 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 love it. Yeah, I am super how this, happy how this came out. The chimney, we'll work on that a little bit more. So this is probably a work in progress. This is probably its final form, but if I find a spot that I can actually improve, then we will, but for right now, hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So plans. So this is going to come down, it's going to come around, it's going to shape around, and then on this side there's going to be some more houses. Uh, in New World it's actually three tall. So there's a house there, there's a house here, and then there's a large one back there. Probably about as large as this one. And that's going to put us, like, up here. Hmm. Yeah, that could work though. But yeah, I am super how this, happy how this came out. Uh, I, I'm building bigger and bigger because we actually have this one over here that we did that was fairly large but then we stepped it up here hmm yep 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 so anyways i think i need to wrap this up um this is mostly kind of just updates we did a lot of this on stream but yeah all right if you enjoyed this content hit that like button and if you want to be notified when i actually upload hit that subscribe button and until next time see ya